Hi, and welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be creating a clapping game using sound in Protopie. Are you ready to test your reflexes? To play, clap or make any loud sounds when the bunnies appear to get a point. But watch out, clap for three wolves and it's game over. All this is made possible using the sound trigger, which makes use of the device's microphone and responds to varying volume levels of sound. Be sure to have the Protopie Player app installed on your phone to test the experience and see how far you can go. Let's get started. Open the Pi in Protopie Studio. You'll notice that the game is nearly complete. Don't worry if you don't understand how this Pi works. We'll walk through its creation from start to finish in a separate advanced lesson. For now, what we will be doing is adding in the mechanism to detect when the player claps their hands. Switch to the scene named Play, since we'll be doing all our work there. Our first step is to add a sound trigger. Click Add Trigger, then click Sound. We need a way to save the sound level. We'll use a variable for this. If you haven't used variables before, they are just a way to store a little bit of information. In this case, we want to store the sound level that the sound trigger detects. In the bottom left, create a new variable. Choose for this scene. Double click the new variable to rename it. Pro tip, always use a variable name that corresponds to the information it will store. Since we're storing the level of sound that the sound trigger detected, let's call it sound level. Now let's go back to our sound trigger and add a response. Notice that the sound trigger only works with some of the available options. This is because when you add a response under a sound trigger, you'll be creating a mapping between the level of the sound and a property that can have varying levels. This is why the sound trigger works with the scale response, for example, but not the text response. Add an assign response. Select the sound level variable we just created. Now let's set up our mapping. In the left is the sound level, and in the right is the value for our variable. We use this mapping to set a lower and upper bound. Set the mapping as shown. This means that when the sound trigger detects a sound level of zero, the value zero will be assigned to our sound level variable. And when the sound trigger detects a level of 200, the value 200 will be assigned to the variable. Protopy automatically fills the values in between. So when the sound level is, say, 50, the value 50 is assigned to the sound level variable. Now, let's see how the sound trigger works. When you hover over a variable, you'll see a ladybug icon appear. Click that to turn on monitoring of the variable. This will show us its value at all times as we run the Pi. Next, we need to run the Pi on our phone. As we mentioned before, the sound trigger only works with mobile devices. Click Device to reveal the QR code and scan it with the Protopie Player app on your phone. Notice how the value of sound level is constantly changing. This is because the sound trigger is constantly listening for changes in sound volume. Now try clapping your hands. Did you notice how the sound level briefly increased to 75? We'll be using this spike in sound level to detect a clapping sound. Back in Protopie, let's add the logic to react when the sound level spikes above, let's say, 70 decibels. We'll be using the range trigger for this. We cover the range trigger in another quick start tutorial, so if you don't quite know how it works, be sure to check it out. Add a range trigger. Choose the sound level variable. Next, click the first icon right below. We want the range trigger to fire when the sound level becomes greater than or equals 70 decibels. So, enter the value 70 in the box. We are almost done. Our last step is to notify the game that a clap has been detected. Add a send response under the range trigger. Use the channel named Send to Current Scene and send the message CLAP in all capitals. The game is already configured to respond to this message, so your work here is done. Let's run it again on our phone. And now we should be able to play. Clap when a bunny appears to score a point, but not when you see a wolf. Nice!
Watch out! Let's do that again! You're on a roll! Uh-oh! Keep them coming! No! Nice! Ah, game over! Well done! You've just completed a game experience in Protopie. And see how easy and fun that was? See you in the next one!